we're gonna just be looking at this uh, quick little. Or just overall, I think this is the best build in the game right now for Shaco, or something along these lines. Uh, damage, like. I don't know, me and Swain were kind of like the ones doing the most, really, when it came down to the team fights. The runes are Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, which I might actually be cha changing out to the uh, Taste Wind Damage or the Cheap Shot. I'll probably go Cheap Shot. Eyeball Collection and Ultimate Hunter. Ultimate Hunter is actually, if you're going to go AP Shaco, I think Ultimate, I'm even thinking AD Shaco. Because you always have your alt up. And so that's like an extra survivability and because that's like you can fight a lot of people when you have your ult. Transcendence for the cooldown reduction and gathering storm. Uh, build was runic echoes. All right, I can just go over here for these. All right, so here's the start. You got your hunter's talisman into your refillables and oh, whatever. First back, you want to get your stalker's blade first do not get the fiendish codex first stalker's is better for first just because it helps you sustain in your jungle gives you some more clear stuff and yeah mainly though it's for the clear in the jungle so you're healthy and you can still do your camps um i actually went for boots of lucidity for the cooldown reduction because i think that was kind of better for right now and because you reduce your summoner spells by 10%, so all your ignite and your smite and all that stuff into Leandri's and then into Morello's. This is your core three because once you get your runics, your Leandri's, and your Morello's, your box damage and everything is actually going to hurt a lot. And you also counteract like healing champions, but the main reason is because your boxes and your E's. Your box, every time it shoots a little beam, will stack this uh, this passive. The 2% more damage for each second of combat with champions, 10% max. That stacks. And that burn that you deal right there for the 1.5% of their max HP per second, they're terrified for the, that time, so they're taking that damage. And it is increased to 2.5% against movement impaired uh, units, meaning if a champion walks in, they get terrified, now they are movement impaired. They're going to be taking 2.5%. Pair that with the Grievous Wounds, the damage that goes over time. Inflex them with Grievous Wounds for 3 seconds and hit them with that too. They they actually just get shredded. If they are building f full tank, you can go into your Void Staff uh, next. Otherwise, I like Zhonya's just for the extra cooldown reduction, the ability power, and obviously the stasis for extra survivability. And then if you're like really fed, you can just throw in a Rapidons early. Uh, other items that you might be interested in looking into for this would be you could do the twin shadows if you want to kind of go for more of a support kind of slow type shako or the one i might mess with too is hextech gop the 800. this is pretty close to like a ludens in terms of damage but you all like you get the slow from the fire bolt and since the runic is basically ludens this is close, so and this will give you good mana pool and the cooldown reduction. You get 20% from it for the unique passive as well. But yeah, that's kind of the build. I think it's the best Shaco build right now. Don't.